Hello. Once again, I've bought myself another seven string guitar. This one is the Schecter Demon series. Uh, it's one that I've kind of had my eye on for quite a while. It's one that I was looking at before I bought the Quartz one. And for those that watched my previous video, those three people, um, you'll have seen me dem demo the uh, the Quartz seven string, and I actually ended up sending it back because it just wasn't. It just didn't didn't quite feel right for me. You know, I didn't. Have connection you know that bond that you get a guitar when you know that that's the guitar for you which isn't anything wrong with the guitar if anything it's probably me i think that guitar was a bit was too much of a leap i think for my first seven string because you know it had the fan frets it had like the emg 707 pickups which are very um very loud sounding and i think to make that guitar work and to get the best out of it i think you need to have the right setup Whereas the setup I've got is quite basic, a bit old fashioned, you know, I say it's a really old effects pedal I use and I just go through an interface into the laptop. I don't have any amp sims or any fancy stuff going on. So I think that guitar is probably a bit too modern for me. So not that this is any in any way a step down, but I decided to get myself the Schecter Demon series because like I said, this guitar, I've always looked at it and thought that's really nice. I love the matte black finish. It's really, really nice. I love the the yellow sort of border on it. I don't know what the technical term for that would be. But yeah, no, just everything about this guitar, I think, just looks really, 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 really cool. And it's my preferred type of bridge as well, this this uh, this bridge here, because I think it's just easier when uh, muting and when just playing in general. I prefer these kind of bridges. Uh, no locking tuners on the back, but, you know, I've never had locking tuners, so what's the difference? Um, it's actually surprisingly light as well for a seven string. I thought this was going to weigh a ton, but it actually it's got a decent weight to it and it's really comfortable to play. It sits really nicely. The neck is pretty streamlined. The action is good on the strings as well. So you're not having to push down from too far away from the fretboard. It's on the whole, it's really, really good. And sort of done all the testing, no, no dead frets. The intonation was perfect. So... I was really, really happy, and I was able to just kind of crack straight on with it. Uh, in terms of drawbacks, I don't know, really. I mean, I suppose the cutaway could be a little bit better, like a little bit deeper, because when you want to get to the the highest fret, the 24th fret here, it's, um, so the back of the guitar is kind of stopping your thumb from getting there. So your thumb's all the way down here, and you're kind of... So, that, I mean, I'm not going up that far of the fretboard anyway most of the time, so it's a very minor drawback. But in terms of the sound, straight away when I plugged it in, I thought, yeah, this is this is nice. This is a, this is a good sound. It's not trying to blow my face off when I when I whack the distortion on. I don't have to spend ages adjusting all the dials and everything to try and get the perfect tone and everything. I was able to just kind of plug it straight in and go. Uh, it arrived in drop B tuning, which is standard for seven strings. So all I did was I've just tuned this into drop A so that I can just play a kind of few chuggy riffs on here. So So that's got a great sound, it's got a real kind of, real nice attack to it, real kind of meaty sound to it, and yeah, the tone is really good, as I say, it compares very much to the, um, my other Schecter, I've got the, um, the, what's it, the Diamond Series one, I think it's the Extreme, I think, so bad I don't even know what my own guitars are, but yeah, it's got a tone that's very, very similar to that, it's not got the same pickups, but it's got a tone that sounds familiar, which is what I liked, and with Schecter, you know what you're going to get. You know you're going to get quality. You know you know it's you know you're going to get a decent guitar. In terms of how it compares to the Court, I would say it's certainly easier to play 
and it's kind of less intimidating to play as well, especially as the court one had fan frets, which is kind of weird when you're not used to that sort of thing. And if you're like me and you're just, this is the first time playing a seven string, it's a bit of an awkward transition to make because having that extra string there does get kind of confusing because you automatically, because you've been playing a six string for so long, you think, oh, this is the low E string. And then you realize that, oh no, it's, this is actually the low B string or A string. So trying to get that right. And whenever I go to play an A minor chord, I always end up playing an E major chord. Oh, no. That's it. You know, keep making mistakes like that. Um, so it takes a bit of getting used to. But I think a guitar like this is probably the best in terms of getting you used to how a seven string feels, how a seven string sounds. And obviously I'm still trying to get to grips with learning this. I've only had this guitar for about a week. Um, and I haven't played it all that much. So I'm looking forward to kind of learning a few songs on it and getting used to the way it sounds, the way it feels and basically navigating my way around the fretboard having an extra string on there because I mean, I don't know, do seven string guitars, do you play scales on them? I've never even really known. I'm, I mean, I'm assuming you do because you've got that extra string there but playing a scale on a seven string, I, I wouldn't even know where to where to go on it so that's kind of kind of weird really. <laughs> it's almost like learning guitar again. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say if, if you're say the word beginner as I say if you're just transitioning over to a seven string I would I would definitely recommend this guitar because it does all the basic stuff well you know it, there's nothing there's nothing to get complicated about it will sound good on your normal setup whatever it is you have and um yeah this is just a really really good guitar to begin with it's a solid you know it's a decent guitar in terms of uh, the high frets I would say the court guitar actually sounded better, and I, I, I said in the video as well that I actually preferred playing the higher notes on that guitar than I did to playing the lower notes. On this guitar, they don't shimmer with the same brightness, but it's still really nice. So, I can't have any complaints. I think the sound is really, really good. And in terms of the clean sound, that's really nice as well. So again, really nice sound, really clean, bright, shimmery. It's really, really good. So the good news is I'm keeping this guitar and I'm definitely going to be using it on future videos. So I'm really, really happy about that because I was worried that after having this, having sent the court guitar back, I was worried like, oh God, maybe seven string just ain't for me. You know, maybe I'm not going to find one that I like. But sometimes it helps to just go with a brand that you're familiar with and that you know um, is going to suit you. As I say, my Schecter is probably my favorite guitar now that I play. And I say you don't have to break the bank for this guitar either. I think it's about uh, was it four fifty, four fifty nine, something like that. So it's 
it's definitely affordable. Obviously, it's not going to be high range, and if you're someone that wants like exceptional quality and a few of the extra features that make a guitar that little bit better, like I say, like locking tuners and maybe slightly more advanced pickups and everything, then obviously, yeah, you're looking at spending over a grand and everything. But if you want just a decent, solid guitar that is going to do a job for you and you're just someone like me who just plays at home and just records at home using their own stuff and isn't in a band and recording high quality videos, then it doesn't really matter. I say a guitar like this will do the trick, you know, perfectly. Uh, so yeah, so that's about, that's about all I've got to say on it. Really, really happy. So hopefully to see it in more videos to come. Catch you later.